Sup Rage Fam, this tutorial is all about line art. We'll cover where to start, must do activities for artists, whether you're new or old, line art styles, and I'll also be answering some questions that were asked during my live streams. And I'll even cover what you can do after the tutorial to improve your line art. So why is line art a good starting point if you're new to digital art? You don't have to worry about colors, composition, or any of that complicated shit. It doesn't even have to be pretty. As long as you're drawing something, even if it's an ugly shape, any sort of practice is good practice. So to start off, uh, we'll begin with a blank layer just above the layer you want to trace. So this is the layer you guys want to trace. Click on that layer. And then we'll head down to the little plus icon here. Just hit that and you'll create a brand new blank layer that says paint layer one or something similar. You double click on that to change the name and we'll change it to tracing. There you go. All right. So after creating the tracing layer, blank tracing layer, we'll head back to the previous layer and lower the opacity by around 50%. So head back to trace these shapes, click on the box above where it says opacity and just around 50%. Uh, you can have it lower or higher depending on how much you want the shapes to pop through. And now we just head back to our blank layer and start tracing and that's it for getting things ready. Now onto the juicy part. Now I have this as an actual downloadable template on my website it's just basic shapes and tracing is honestly the best form of practice I can think of uh, that's how I learned I used to sit in front of the TV and watch freaking cheese TV and Naruto and Dragon Ball Z and I'd have my sketch pad out and I'd just try and copy all those little weirdos on the screen the more tracing you do the better the better the practice and eventually you'll find that for some weird reason anatomy has gotten better and you're like but I didn't draw anatomy why is it better because you you thonked and you did the tracing so while you're tracing totally take your time there's absolutely no rush whatsoever and if you fuck it up you can just literally click the delete button it'll delete anything that's on that layer only and it won't actually delete the layer. My layer is still there, so you don't have to worry about accidentally deleting the layer. While tracing, try and experiment with different speeds. So fast, and then experiment with perhaps slow, because it does produce different results. Some people work better going fast, other people work better going slow. While you're tracing, I highly suggest experimenting with different brushes just to spice things up a little bit and get used to different textures, different different styles, because um, you never know what you work better with. You know, it, it's very real estate out there. Sometimes, as you can see, I work better with a completely different brush. So what is the purpose of this activity? Well, it's to strengthen the connection between your hand and your brain. As I mentioned before, um, sometimes you come up with awesome ideas and your hand is just like, nah, I'm not going to do that. And it, it's, it just doesn't work. Um, this is, you know, just strengthening that muscle like any other uh, exercise you do. So uh, the more you do it, the better and uh, stronger your connection in brain brain and finger biceps will be. So I had some questions during my live stream. What can I do with the shapes and do the pros draw shapes? And quick answer, yes, and lots of things. All those professional animators you see online all actually start with uh, circles squares, rectangles, and even stick figures. As for what you can do with shapes, um, in the downloadable that you can get from my website, there will be a little page just for you. 
Um, it'll have my kitty and then you can destroy your own kitty on a new layer next to that. Um, we'll have a little cheat sheet with it. So that's the cat. And then it's basically made up of lots of rectangles and triangles, triangles for the ears and a circle for the face. After this tutorial and after you tickle the little thumbs up button and subscribe, um, I would love for you guys to actually go through and find what shapes you can see in each of the line work. Um, if you can't do that, don't worry too much. Uh, I put in a little cheat sheet for you and there's actually little, little tips as well in there. I, most of the time, do lines. Lines and little circles for the joints. And sometimes I do blocky rectangles, sometimes I do blobs. Really depends what I'm drawing. Give it a shot. Uh, see what shapes you can see. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. Just give it a shot. And that's about it for the lineup tutorial. Don't forget to tickle the thumbs up and subscribe to get notified when I upload a short, perhaps a kitty cat tutorial, and when I do live streams. My live streams jump from chaotic bullshittery to chill vibe art lessons. Links are all in the description. And I will see you in the next live stream, fam. Have a good one.